Hey nerds and nerdettes, Rick here again, and it is officially preview night for San Diego Comic Con. Woohoo! Sorry, my energy is a little low. I just woke up a little bit ago. Uh, anyways, so news is already starting to pour in. Uh, last night, DC Collectibles posted a video and then quickly took it down. I don't think it was supposed to be up yet, but it was previewing uh, everything that they've got coming out. Um, for San Diego, you know, what they're displaying at San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, first off, in the film's line, which is one of my new favorite lines, uh, we've got Suicide Squad figures, we've got Boomerang, Katana, and Killer Croc. Uh, for Batman v Superman, we have a regular suit Batman, we have Aquaman, we have Nightmare Batman. Uh, in the Icons line, they've got a two-pack of Booster Gold and Blue Beetle, which looks amazing. They've got Etrigan the Demon. They've got a uh, Jim Ballant uh, 1990s purple-suited Catwoman. Um, we've got, oh, what else did we see? A New 52 Shazam, Captain Marvel. Uh, a Sinestro, a uh, yellow Sinestro. Uh, we've got, God, there was so much that they showed. Uh, ba 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 I'm blank and oh, uh, I'm sorry, Nightwing and Deadshot, uh, all in the icons line. Uh, we've got in the designer series, we've got new bombshell figures coming out of uh, Batwoman or Batgirl, uh, Poison Ivy, Harley, and I want to say Batgirl, Power Girl. I don't know. Pictures will be out soon enough, and I'm half awake. Uh, Mezco previewed some of their figures in the 112 Collective line. They've got a Nightmare Batman coming out, which looks amazing. They've got a Joker figure, a classic. It looks like a classic mixed with the Dark Knight uh, Christopher Nolan Joker. It looks really cool, really, really amazing stuff. Uh, they also showed a, a Spider-Man figure, which looked just, I mean... There's no reason to buy another Spider-Man figure. And it's, it's so easy to forget that these are only six inches tall. They're amazing figures in the 112 line. Uh, and one of the big news uh, items to come out of uh, Comic-Con is that Hasbro has lost the Jurassic Park and the Jurassic World license. And originally, I was going to post a video in uh, response to that, and that I hoped that perhaps maybe somebody like a... NECA or even a McFarlane Toys would have picked up the license. Uh, however, it looks like Mattel has gotten the license. Now, they will not be making figures until 2018 when the new uh, Jurassic World movie comes out. They actually said they're going to be starting a little bit early in uh, 2018. Um, 2018 is actually the 25th, if you can believe it or not, the 25th anniversary of the original Jurassic Park. So, fingers crossed, I'm not the hugest Mattel fan in the world, but fingers crossed that they do a Movie Masters lines and they go back and do some of the original movies because I would love a six-inch Movie Masters line of, you know, Alan Grant, Ellie Stadler, and... Uh, Ian Malcolm and even Nedry and Muldoon, even the kids, I would love for them to come with out six inch figures uh, of a Velociraptor, maybe a big T Rex uh, with little dino centric accessories that they could come with. Uh, Dr. Alan Grant could come with perhaps the little uh, raptor egg that he was holding in the one scene, and Ellie could come with one big pile of shit. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, guys, this is just previews night. Not everything has been shown yet. We've still got NECA coming. We've got the rest of the 112 line from Mezco coming. We've still got the DC panel tomorrow. Uh, we've got DC Collectibles, excuse me, DC Collectibles uh, uh, preview night. There's a lot more to come, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is just what's been leaked thus far. So here we go, guys. Comic-Con preview night. Doors open tonight at uh, 6 o'clock. Uh, Pacific time, which would be about 9 o'clock Eastern time. So, here we go, guys. Comic-Con.